guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Candice and today we are going to have some cleaning motivation and we are jumping right into my Christmas decor haul so this is the complete Christmas decor haul unless I end up buying stuff later on which I shouldn't but I'm going to show y'all everything that we've gotten new this year and everything that we've accumulated throughout the past so it's a lot of stuff kind of like we did for our Halloween video I'm just going to walk you through everything, um, tell you where I got everything. If I remember how much it is, I'll let you know. And then I'll link as much stuff in the description below so you're able to easily find it. I'll link as much stuff that I can. Um, some stuff, it may be a little older or it may be from like home goods or something like that. And their links are kind of weird. So anyways, I'm so glad that you are here. We are going to do some cleaning motivation, my kitchen and my living room. Right now when you see the living room, it's extremely empty because we took all the Halloween decor down and then I kind of just left it as a blank canvas so whenever I start decorating for Christmas then it's all nice and clear so we're going to go in kind of scrub it all down and get it looking nice so this week we will be decorating for Christmas um we're decorating early this year we always decorate early only because we love Thanksgiving we love the food we love the meaning behind Thanksgiving being with family but we never host it so I always have my Christmas decor up before Thanksgiving only because we always um, go visit family or go to someone else's home on Thanksgiving, probably because I'm not the best cook. So everyone's like, no, why don't you just come to our house and bring paper towels, you know what I mean? So that's that's us. But we are going to, um, I'll show you the living room and the kitchen. We're just going to do a quick cleanup, get everything nice and um, organized so that when we do put up our Christmas decor this week, it'll all be fresh. But anyways, um, we have a lot to do, so I want to go ahead and get started. So here we go. No, I can't wait for the weekend. Waking up next to you. Sharing our secrets, making dreams come true. Let's have a toast for the love us. We'll tumble round in the snow. Okay, you guys, so we are just starting out in the living room. It was not that bad. I just needed to pick up some blankets. My son had left some of his toys on this table, and then I'm just I found some spots on the couches that I needed to wipe down just with a wet cloth. And my heart's going boom, boom, boom. So beautiful what a night. Can you feel it too? Girl, I won't let you go When the sky comes alive Let's have a jolly holiday Holiday Let's have a jolly holiday Holiday Yeah Haven't seen you in so long Though we text and still my feelings are so strong How I miss your face So you can see everything is very empty. It looks like we just moved in <laughs> um, But I'm just wiping down these glass shelves with spray away. I did this the other day So they really weren't super bad, but I wanted to make sure that they were nice and clean before I tried to put any new decor on top of them only because I know that there's gonna be so much glitter and just debris from all the decor is going to go everywhere so i just want to make sure i'm starting off with a clean slate so it's not just mess on top of mess let's have a toast for the love us we'll tumble brown in the snow and my heart's going boom 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 you're so beautiful Okay, I did want to take a moment just to reintroduce myself. We have some new friends on my channel. My name is Candace. I am a stay-at-home mother of two. My daughter is Alexis, and she is nine, and my son is Colton, and he is seven. And yeah, I'm so happy that you are here and you are loving all this cleaning motivation. Um, on my channel, you'll find cleaning motivation, decorating ideas, um, shopping hauls, all kinds of stuff. So I'm definitely going to try to start adding some recipes. Y'all know that I am not the world's best chef, or at least now you do. So I'm trying to find easy recipes that people who are like me, you know, the below average 
cookers <laughs> can do. So I have a list started, so I'm really excited to share that with everyone. And I'm really excited just to start getting more comfortable in the kitchen. So if that's something you're into, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you like this video if you're getting some cleaning motivation from it. And enjoy the rest. Jolly, holiday, holiday. Okay, so living room is done. We're moving on to the kitchen. Living room wasn't that bad. Kitchen. Y'all, my husband, look at my dishes. My husband went fishing and I did not touch a dirty dish. I'm like, you're going fishing and having fun. I am not cleaning. But this is all from breakfast this morning. I don't know how it is at y'all's house, but it's literally a madhouse in the morning trying to get my kids fed. Lunch is packed, everyone dressed, everyone's smiling. And out the door so I need to clean all this up the counters are super gross and then in the pantry I just need to wipe down I spilt the dog food like everywhere so I cleaned some of it up but you can see like there's dog food and that needs to be wiped down so I'll probably wipe down some of these counters in here and clean up the stove y'all we got a lot to do cleaner um, this island the quartz is really easy to keep clean you can really use an all-purpose but the Wayman quartz cleaner leaves it super shiny and it gets off all of the residue a little easier <laughs> down the stove it had accumulated like food and stuff just from the past couple days but if it looks like I'm throwing everything on the floor I am throwing all the crumbs and stuff on the floor because I'm gonna run the vacuum here in a second so I just toss it on the floor until it's time to vacuum it all up but I wanted to let you know I'm using the Mrs. Meyers peppermint all-purpose cleaner and it smells so good. I got this from my Glove Collaborative Order. And my Grove um, link is always in my description below. So if y'all want to make an order, use my link so you can get a free gift. A big boy, Toby. You're sitting like a big boy. Oh, 
What's wrong? Can you say hi? Little stinkers. Love you. <laughs>we're getting right into this Christmas decor. So very similar to how I did Halloween. I just kind of have it all laid out. It's a little more organized this time. I'm learning you guys. Um, but first we're gonna start over here. I told y'all that I had this weird obsession with these pointy trees. You have, I have some here. These are from last year and years before. Those are the new ones that I got this year. But I'll show you these. I believe this is from Hobby Lobby. I try to keep the tags on things or I don't try to I just forget to take them off but whenever I looked I did not see a whole lot of tags so a lot of these are going to be either home goods or Hobby Lobby I didn't really venture off too much in the past when it came to Christmas decor I didn't know about home goods or anything like that so I know these are Hobby Lobby these three little fuzzy ones um, I believe this candy cane one is Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. Okay, y'all just assume every time I say Home Goods, I really mean at home, okay? I don't know what was wrong with my brain. Things. I think this is Hobby Lobby, and I think this is Hobby Lobby. But either way, Hobby Lobby or Home Goods, you may not find identical things this year to these, but I know you will these because I literally saw them the other day. But they have very, very similar things each year, so that's always fun. So this is one of our trees we have this one and then we have our big tree this is our travel tree and what i mean by travel tree is um all the past vacations or trips that me and my family have taken my kids and hubby we get an ornament and this was the tree that we display all of our travel ornaments on so i got this at home depot in february no end of january last year we were actually looking for like garden things to start our garden for this upcoming spring um, and they had this for $20, so it's super cute. It's just white lights. Um, I don't know how tall it is. It's taller than me, so I'm guessing like, oh man, that could be five and a half feet. <laughs> it's taller than me. But, um, so this is our travel tree. I will, this will be in the decorate living room video with me when we do the fireplace and the entertainment center. I got these from Home Goods last year, these little lanterns that say Merry Christmas, and this has a snowflake on it. This is just oh, garland, obviously. That's Hobby Lobby. Um, these are all of our ornaments from the past. You see we did the black and white theme before. The silvers, the whites. So that's all of these. They're just all mostly Hobby Lobby. Okay, we're going to move on over here. This cute little silver and red wreath. This is from, I believe it was from Target last year and this was from target last year i got it on sale whenever they put their christmas at 50 percent off it's a little star for our that's going to be for our big tree and then i found these little tea lights on sale this was i found them on sale i think around september in target it was like can you do it can you do it can you do it? Ah, $5.39, and they were originally $18. So I'll plop these all over in little votives. Hold on. In little votives or on my formal dining room table. Anything that I want lit up. Y'all know I love things that light up, so I'll just stick those all around. I believe I got this little sled. It's sleigh. Sorry. Me and my husband had this conversation if it's a sled or a sleigh. And he said a sled is what you go like down a snowy mountain like a toboggan, I guess, and a sleigh is like pulled by reindeer, you know, or horse, I don't know. So this sleigh, I believe I got from at home last year, or no, maybe two years ago. So they may have, I know they have something similar to it. This is something that they would bring back every year, but it's super cute. It's gonna go on my candy cane lane table. This believe sign, or not sign, candle holder, 
so pretty it's glittery and red this was Hobby Lobby and then this little sparkly sleigh clearly I have a love for sleighs over here you know you always forget how many you have until you bring them back out for the year but I wish I had the price on this I want to say this was Hobby Lobby or at home so pretty though look at that shimmer I'm so excited to have this displayed on the entertainment center so these bigger items this is our first year to really my husband is just so into it this year and I'm so excited like his Christmas spirit is awesome <laughs> this year I don't know why maybe he's just like had a really rough year and he's ready to just be happy and celebrate and do all the fun things that the holidays bring so he is going we are decorating outside this year we got these from Lowe's. I had to order them online because they were super hard to find, but I will link them because I, I got them online so I know I have links. Um, but we got this cute polar bear. He's a lighted polar bear. He's, I think he's like six feet tall, five feet tall. He's so cute. And he's gonna be surrounded by these little light up presents. So we got these at Lowe's. These will go out in the yard. They're super cute. I have them lit up over here. I'll show y'all. So they're like, they look blue on here, but they're white. They're just a plain white and they sparkle and there's three of them in there and you can just place them all around your yard and I think they're super cute. So for the front porch, because I'm doing a front porch decorate with me, it's actually gonna be a collab with uh, Julie and Nicole. She's so sweet, so y'all be on the lookout for that. But um, it's this cute little like vintage-y lamppost. So this is from Lowe's, I'll have it linked. And then my sled, y'all know, if y'all saw my last video, y'all know all about that sled. That was from Home Goods. couldn't pass it up. No, not Home Goods. at home. Jeez, I'm getting them all mixed up from at home. I love it so much. Anniversary gift is what that was. So now we'll move on to the table. I'm gonna try to move through this quickly. If I already showed it in my last video, I will tag that somewhere in this when we're doing this and I'll also link it down below. So these I got from Tuesday morning, these little light up trees. They're really cute. You know what, we can plug one in too. I'll show y'all. They were $19.99 and I know that's a good deal because I bought them and then when I went to Hobby Lobby, they had a tree half the size of it so you can see I don't know, it's like, I don't know how tall that is. Two and a half feet maybe, I don't know. But they had one at Hobby Lobby that was like half the size and it was $19.99 as well. So I'm glad I got the bigger one. And I just think they're so cute, maybe by the fireplace. I don't know, but these bend, so I thought they were fun. So this is at Tuesday morning. So if y'all have a Tuesday morning by you, definitely go check them out. I got two of those. Okay, so this is the at-home section. No, this is Tuesday morning. This little cup, Merry Christmas, y'all, was Tuesday morning. I thought that was so cute. It was only $2.99. These little light-up glass container or glass figurines, those were from Tuesday morning. $12.99. Okay, so y'all have seen this. This is the table runner. These are the placemats. Um, this little tree, I don't remember where I got it. We've had it for a long time. This definitely came from at home a few years ago. He's still there. You can get them. I saw them the other day. These were from at home. These little sparkly reindeer. Y'all already saw those. My little pointy candy cane trees. And then this greenery. Y'all also already saw that too in the other video. So this was all at home. Moving down here. Do I sell the tags? No. I think these were Hobby Lobby my little peppermints i've had those for like a few years y'all have seen all the hot cocoa stuff in the other video our wreath hangers i don't know if i showed y'all these last time but how cute are these these are from at home a little santa boot with the candy cane and peppermints these are going to go on the candy cane table they're only really 5.99 and they're a really good size they're so cute these pointy trees are more from at home, I think, two years ago. I'm pretty sure they still have them. I saw them last year. I feel like they bring them back. Y'all have seen those silver ones. We've already gone through those. This red one, I believe, was from Hobby Lobby a few years ago. That's very similar to that silver one that they have this year, so I bet they have a red one as well. 
all these little signs, peace, wish, faith, peace, joy, the little words, I believe are Hobby Lobby. I love this mug. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. So y'all know, come on, you can do it. There you go. Y'all know I love my fun coffees with my Halloween mugs, but I also love my fun coffee with my Christmas mugs. So I'm super excited to wash those and put them with my coffee mugs. This tall little deer, I believe that was from Hobby Lobby last year. I did not see her this year. She may be there, but just in a different style. She's so pretty though. And then these little, these were from the, I think these were from the Target dollar spot. No, Hobby Lobby. I'm sure they were half off, but $11.99. These are gonna go on the candy cane table. Look, look how cute those are. They have shimmer at the top too. Okay, so, oh, and there's our stockings. I already went over those. But I ended up going to Michael's. Hannah Lee, I will tag her video down below. She did a Michael's shop with me, and I wasn't going to get any more stuff. Like, I was good, y'all. I was content and happy. I have so much stuff I can work with. But then she showed these plates. And I was like, okay, y'all, I need. That goes perfect with my Candy Cane Lane themed table. Peppermints, they're so cute. So I ended up going to Michael's. And of course, if you go, I should just order online. But if you go in, you know you're gonna find a bunch of other stuff. So this is what I got from Michael's. This Oh Holy Night sign. I needed something large for my entertainment center. Y'all know that big open space I have up top. I feel like this will fit really good there. The plates, of course. These cute little peppermint candy cane trees. My gosh, they're so cute. I should not. And then I ended up getting some of the sensicles that make your tree, your fake tree smell like a real tree. Just because I love how a real tree smells, but I don't like how a real tree sheds. So that's what we're doing this year. This is for the hot cocoa bar. I thought that was so cute. I could put marshmallows in it or peppermints or, you know, chocolate chips. I don't know, but it's so cute. I thought this would be cute on the hot cocoa bar tray or even to put out um, for Santa's cookies. I thought that would be cute. And then I found garlands. So I ended up getting this garland. It has these white flowers, pine cones, and the frosted little leaves. I ended up getting this little thing. And if you can see those sparkles, how pretty is that? It looks like it's just iced over vines. Like, it's so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but y'all know I'll find a spot. And then this one. It's a little different. The leaves are a little more... What's that called? What's that called when they're like that? It's a weird word. I don't know, but it gets everywhere. I don't know. I call it frosted, so... But I thought that was really pretty. So over here, we'll move on. These are for outdoors. This is Home Depot. I got these garlands for around my door. You can see they kind of light up. Very subtle, nothing crazy. Flocked, there it is. <laughs> flocked is the frosted look. So these are flocked garlands that they're gonna go outside. And then I got this guy. How cute, look how happy he is. He's so cute. Look, he's flocked too. Look at all that snow. So I got him, he's five feet. He is from Home Depot. I can link him because I did see him online. I think I can link these two. So, and these are really pretty. But he's cute, couldn't pass him up. Okay, and then Amazon. Everything from Amazon I can link for you guys for sure down below, but it's under, please don't fall, please don't fall, okay. So Amazon, I got these, and y'all, I don't know the quality of these yet because I haven't used them yet. They're just white fuzzy pillow covers, and this one is white fuzzy pillow cover with uh, snowflakes, see? 
So um, I don't know how good they are. I don't. And I always just save money by buying covers and just cover the pillows I already have. Um, so they're a lot cheaper than buying brand new pillows each year. So that's what we're doing. I'll link it. And then when I do use them, I'll let y'all know if I like them. I got these napkins to go on the candy cane table. They're just, y'all, these are from Amazon. A set of 12. I want to say, I feel like they were like $16, maybe less. I don't know. But the stitching, like they are so pretty. And I feel like when you go anywhere else and get like these cloth napkins for a table setting, they're so expensive. And these really were not, especially for 12, you usually only get six. And they're so cute. I absolutely love them. So really excited to see these on the table, the candy cane table. These are the napkin rings I went with. These are from Amazon. Just silver little reindeer. I will link these. They're so cute. Oh, you get... Seriously, you get so many, you get 12. Like, I don't know like who these people are feeding for to have to ha use 12, but we only need six, Just and we're only using six just to make it look right. But yeah, I'll link those. You get 12 in case one breaks or gets lost, whatever. And then these, or if you are feeding 12 people, I mean, some people do for Christmas. They have the whole fam, so these are a really good buy. Um, and then these silver chargers I got from Amazon too. So those will, silver, silver chargers will go on the silver, at the red and silver placemats, which will really make all of this pop. And then when you think about putting something like this, like look how pretty that's going to be up against it. So, oh, over here. We're almost done. We're almost done. Hang in there. Hang in there. Oh, we already we kind of already saw these. Y'all saw these in my other video. So cute, so sparkly. Um, these are the new ornaments that we have this year. We're gonna bring in more whites, some silvers, but also more whites. And then this cute flocked, learning something new, flocked wreath. Um, this is gonna go in the kitchen. I'm really trying to make it look like a winter wonderland icicle. We're cold, but we're in Texas, so we're really not cold type of look. So, yeah. You guys, I want to say this is all, but I haven't been to Walmart yet. And, oh, let me show y'all our, I'll show y'all our little family picture. So, what I got my hubby for our anniversary. Actually, I'll show you two things. I got this made. It's on canvas. It's a framed canvas, and I got it made from Shutterfly. And it's going to go up every Christmas until we redo a new one. So every Christmas, this is our going to go on our mantle. It's just so pretty. You can see the babes. How sweet are they? Really cute. So the camera's not really he's making it super clear to see, but it's so pretty. But I'll show y'all what I got him for our anniversary. But yeah, I still need to go to Walmart. Like, there's still places I want to go because people are posting shop with me. I haven't even been to Home Goods yet. If it's from Home Goods, it's from last year. Like, I haven't been this year, and I probably shouldn't, you know. I probably shouldn't go because I have enough. I, like, I need to, we're fine. But there's just, I want, I want to go see what everyone else is seeing. So, let me show you what I got Joe for our anniversary. Walk to my room really fast. Y'all, my bed's not made. Let's not, we're not judging that, okay? Light's not on. Okay, this is what I got. So this is our little room. We're walking in here. And then it looks small on this camera, but this is our anniversary picture. I got it off a of Shutterfly, and it's one of my favorite pictures that we took that day at our wedding. Black and white, I got it done in black and white. But this is like an acrylic, and it's kind of like bolt, like it looks like it's bolted out of the wall, like a 3D. So I thought that was really cool. So if y'all need like gift like that, gift, if y'all need gift ideas like that, go to Shutterfly if you wanna make it more, if you wanna make it more um, like sentimental or, you know, personal or whatever. Shutterfly has some really cute stuff. You can make ornaments, coffee mugs. One year I made him a mouse pad. <laughs> That's like such a cheesy gift, but he loves it. He still has it, he uses it. He just, while he's at work, he's like, you know, using his mouse with us on it but anyways okay that okay you guys that is it for today's video i hope that you got some cleaning motivation 
some fun decoration ideas for your Christmas decor. Um, I know it was a lot of stuff. I'm going to link as much as I possibly can um, in the description below, so make sure you check it out. If you're new here, please subscribe to my channel. I have a ton more Christmas videos coming out. We're going to have clean and decorate with me. I'm going to do it like I did my Halloween series where I do little portions at a time. That way it's just not overwhelming one long Christmas video so we can have, you know, bits of happiness all throughout the month. So make sure you're on the lookout for that. Make sure your bell notifications are on so you know when those videos are coming out. And thank y'all so much for being here. Also, I just want to say thank you really fast because I did hit my 1,000 subscriber goal. That was a huge goal for me. Honestly, I had that goal set for within the year and I got it done in um, like six months. So I'm so thankful and grateful to each and every one of you, especially the ones that keep coming back to my videos and supporting. I hope that I can give you all the support that you give me um, on your channels and everything like that. So if you do have a YouTube channel, Put your name down below. Um, I'm going to reach out and give comments, likes, supports, watch times, whatever you need. Um, but thank y'all so much for everything. I really appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.